is clear. Still, hydration will be key today at TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville. A few minutes prior to us coming on air, this crowd was jolted into action with the introduction of these Jaguars. They're set for football as the Jags are ready to match up with the Arizona Cardinals. It's an Indian summer afternoon, perfect conditions for football, and off we go on EA Sports. Now it's Hyde on the return. And he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 30, right about the 29. A man who played his college ball in Tallahassee, here's Cam Akers. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Well, this defense for the Jaguars, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. Only needing two yards on second down. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. This defense for the Jags, very strong last week as they helped their squad improve to 2-0 on the young season. But we certainly had a nice conversation with the defensive coordinator, didn't we? And what we heard, I like what we did, but we definitely need more pressure on the quarterback this week. Play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he brings this up to the 46, good enough for the first. That one goes for eight yards. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. First down, they'll stay with Akers on the ground. Jalen Phillips, the edge man on the tackle. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Murray now to throw. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Obi by the family. Well, he's just got to be thinking, I hope that's not a harbinger of things to come. Very first pass of the afternoon. Yeah. And where do you go from here? Because when you start that way, well, do you allow that to seep into you and stay with you the rest of the game? Or do you find a way out of it? We're going to find out.
Very good starting field position for the Jaguars offense as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. They'll run for the first time with Travis Etienne. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. play fake here's Lawrence he lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone and it is incomplete good positioning there downfield to break that one up I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends again get right up on them and stay physical and that paid off on that play helping force that incompletion here's second and ten A give running right, ETN. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? need to get to the 35 if they want to keep this drive going on third down. Lawrence. And the throw there going to be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence and none better than the one right there forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. On fourth down, on is Logan Cook to punt. He was only asked to punt once in the victory last week as he sends this one away. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game. But this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term, complimentary football. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing that puts them in that position. And they'll get him down up past the 15-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the run. Akers, he coughs it up. Wow, that block is not free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Throwing now is Murray. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. Murray hooking up with Kirk for an Arizona first down. To throw is Murray. That's out to the flat for Edmonds. 
And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Murray a give. This is Connor. And he'll get up to the 43 yard line. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. And there's James Connor with a run that gets everyone's attention. He joined the Arizona Cardinals after four years in Pittsburgh, and his best year with the Steelers, 2018, named a Pro Bowler after a 973 yard, 13 touchdown campaign. Mixed results the last couple of years as he's been in and out of the lineup, but with consistency, he can still be an effective runner. They'll run on first down with Akers. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. Now look, that wasn't a huge gain, but those are the types of carries I think they were missing in their loss last week. They couldn't get him going on the ground. Did you get the same feeling I did during our meetings that they kind of regretted that he didn't touch the Absolutely. ball? Absolutely. You know, hey, he should have touched him more last week. They weren't going to make that same mistake, and they've taken care of that early. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Murray now. That's out to the flat for Akers. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. We're scoreless after one. Cardinal football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. From the gun, Murray. Now oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Myers Trump. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives with a third and interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Leo, Leo. Watch out, watch out. Hey, exit. Play action. It's Lawrence. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure at him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Now Lawrence. They're connecting here with DJ Shark. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. On 
on first and ten. It's ETN. And he'll work this forward for about three. It's second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Running out of the gun with ETN. And he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals' 40-yard line. Decided to hand it off that time on the run-pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. Look at me. Go on. Go on. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. A snap to Lawrence as he taps this forward. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A 14-yard first down pickup for the Jaguars. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end or the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. Buying time to his left. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked by Deontay Thompson. And this one will be brought back to the 22. So apparently some grabbing there in the middle of the O-line. I've often wondered why that doesn't happen more often for guys that play center. Having to snap the ball and then trying to get your hands into the proper position, that's difficult to do. He got caught that time. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Back to the ground with ETN. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The Jaguars on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 17. They go play action now. Lawrence looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Arnold. And he will have a Jaguars first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Two minutes on the clock in what's been a scoreless first half.
Took nearly the entire first half, but a first red zone opportunity for him here. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. A give, it's ETN off the option. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Forced out to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Here's Lawrence. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. The kick by Lambeau is good. And we have action on the scoreboard just before halftime. It's 3-0. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice win for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. Ready to go with their next drive and at the line, the Cardinal offense. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks. And while it'll hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. Akers has got the first down of Inso, and he'll be taken down at the 26. Boy, a pair of big plays here. This one going for 29. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Escaping the pressure right. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often miss time that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now Murray again. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the ten to the seven. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Murray going to throw. He'll buy some time right. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. 
He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. So we've reached halftime in a low-scoring affair, just a pair of field goals. 3-3 is our score. As we now go downstate to Orlando and check in with Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports app.